Welcome to Union Temple, where it's a family, family affair. affair. I am Dr. Anika Wilson-Brown, affectionately known as Pastor A, and I want to welcome you to your new member orientation. I am excited to be standing next to my left and my right hand. Yes, I am Reverend Lily, and I am the administrator of Church and Culture. What does that mean? It means that I'm a bridge between the daily operations of the campus as well as the ministries in the church. And hi family, I am Demi Reverend Demetrius Norman and I serve as the Minister of, of Training and Development for our ministries here at the Temple. And what that means is, is simply providing the support to our ministries to ensure that they have all of the stuff that they need to be effective in ministry and their specific areas. You will get to know many more of your team leaders here at Union Temple, but we are the executive team leadership and we are excited to present to you the next three models that you will need in order to figure out how to become acclimated and connected here at Union Temple. We're gonna begin with the first module, which is me, Afrocentric Church. What is it? How does it manifest? And you'll come over to me where we'll cover the five goals of the church. And these are like your mission statements. So it'll uh, govern how you integrate yourself within the ministry, and it'll give you some key tools and tips uh, to help you become more comfortable with our family. Yes, and I will close it out with the third module on the nine principles of self-development here at Union Temple. These are key formulas on how to develop yourself and stay connected to your community. So we're looking forward to the next steps. Make sure you get your pen and a pad or tablet and get ready. So no matter where you are in the world, we welcome you as a new partner. You might be wondering what partnership is about. Most people say member, but we believe here at Union Temple that you are partner with us in ministry. We grow and develop together. So no matter what, we're gonna stay connected as family. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. You, you ready? ready? I'm ready. Let's ready. go. Habaragani, that means what's up, what's new, what's happening in Kiswahili. I'm Reverend Lily with Module One. What is an Afrocentric church? An Afrocentric church is a church that thinks, does, feels, and acts in an African way. Union Temple is not an Afrocentric church, not only because we use drums, have a mural of the black Jesus, uh, African art and artifacts all around the church or celebrate Kwanzaa. What makes Union Temple an Afrocentric church is the fact that the foundational doctrines in terms of the way we do things is based on African biblical principles. We operate from the fact that Christianity originally developed as an African-based religion of African people. It was not until the fourth century that Christianity became a European controlled religion, which it has remained now for the last 1700 years. The cardinal African based doctrines that we practice at Union Temple are number one, monotheism, the belief in a supreme being, the creator and sustainer of all things. Number two, primacy of spirit. What exists first is spirit. The spirit is more important than the mundane. This belief encompasses the idea that some matters that can't be dealt with logically and with reason can be dealt with spiritually. Number three, henotheism. The belief in one God without denying the existence of other religious belief systems. This was Jesus' position in Luke 9 and 49 when he was informed that there were those performing miracles who were not a part of his company. Jesus said, if they are not against us, they are for us. On another occasion in John 10, 16, Jesus said, I have sheep of other fold. And then we could flip on over to Revelation where it indicates that there is not one, but 12 gates to the city. Number four, Pantheism, we believe that religion permeates all aspects of life, that God is concerned about our social, economic, political, psychological, as well as our spiritual warfare. Number five, God incarnate and human. Jesus clearly teaches us that God is within us. You know our old adage around here, our mantra, God is in us with us, through us, and for us. 
And where God is, there can be no imperfection. If you don't know it, you're going to know it soon. In Luke 17, 21, in response to the question when the kingdom would come, Jesus responds, it's not over there or over here. It, it, it cannot be observed. The message version says the kingdom of God doesn't come by counting the calendar, but the kingdom of God is within you. Yes, you. Number six, the African mode of worship. We believe in and practice rhythmic stimulation and concentration, which is brought about through the dance, the shout, the drum, the music, and the inspired spoken word. This emotion evocation can increase and generate our ashe, which is the life force of power of the God that is within us. Howard Thurman, the great theologian who was way before his time, by the way, he calls this focusing, developing of singleness of mind and spirit, and one with the mind of God. This is the source of spirit possession, what we call the Holy Ghost, which allows us to display cognitive ability, prophecy, healing power, laying on of hands, and divine power as channels of the flow through of God's divine love. Number seven, corporate salvation. We are, as Jesus was, concerned not just about our own individual salvation, but the salvation of the entire community. We promote sisterhood and brotherhood in the body and with the entire human race, attempting to uplift everyone. That is our Afrocentric way. Thank you for listening, and I hope you've taken notes. God bless.